Hi Collective, it's Chatting with Chook and I'm back with another video. So we are gonna be pulling on some new love energy for the Collective. What do the Collective need to see and know around a new love energy? This could be somebody that you already in connection with that you know is your person or which you could be manifesting into your life. Take it where it resonates. What do the collective need to see about a new love? Or their person? Okay, so you got wet dreams. Knows when to give you space. I feel like this person definitely dreams about you. Um... I'm getting like hot, like, look, you got higher level soulmate. Like, I'm getting like, um, this person could have a dream about you. Like, and it could be like a sexual, with the wet dream is definitely sexual. And this is the type of person who wakes up in cold sweats. Like, I'm getting like rock hard, like wishing that you was right there with them. The shit be feeling so real to them. Okay, I, this person definitely studies and watches you. They know that you're the type of person who, you know, um, you're independent. You, you're not, like, you don't mind being alone, okay? This person is going to know that you, because you are, you gained um, some sort of comfortability being alone. This person is going to know when to give you the space that you need. This is someone who is not going to smother you. You know, y'all going to be able to have a, 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 um, a successful relationship while um, knowing when to spend time apart. Yeah, you got long car rides. This person could have had a dream about y'all having sex in a car. Yeah, you got fairy pussy. Won't let nothing change y'all bond. Or you could have had car sex with this person. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like this person, like I said, they know when to give you space. They're not going to be somebody to smother you. And it's like, I feel like things are going to... I feel like this, this is going to be something that's a friendship before anything. Like, no matter what, that friendship will always be solidified. It's like, even if you and this person have an argument or something like that, it's going to be like, it won't even last long. Because it's like, you know, I miss my friend. I need to I need to be around my friend. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be that. Like this, And it's not in a um, codependent way. But more so, you guys know that y'all are each other's person. Like, this is my friend. I don't care what we go through, how much we argue this is this is just this is us okay i'm hearing this is us by keisha cole go listen to that that's a cute little song i ain't about to sing it right now but yeah i feel like you and this person can go on a lot of long car rides you know visiting different cities to try foods i'm hearing like fears going places y'all might like ride out to see like different houses that's decorated for christmas like you and this person are definitely gonna have a bond that's going to be solidified. Yeah, you have this new union that's protected. I feel like you don't have nothing to worry about when it's come to this person, this wealthy man. This is somebody who is going to provide and offer you the finer things in life. This person is really going to take you out your comfort zone and have you doing things that you didn't even know that you were capable of doing. Yeah, this person is this is cocky in a good way. See, this person know who they are. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's like they stand on that shit. Can't nobody little boy this person. Like, this person know who he is. He's firm in his beliefs and what, what it is that he do. Like, it, it's really giving a boss status. Like, a big dick energy. You got summertime love. You and this person could have connected over the summer. And now it's moving on to something um bigger and better. Yeah, because I feel like you are this person's happy place. It's like they find comfort in being around you. And, and and they see something, they see something in you that they have in themselves. Okay, it's like boss energy. Like, and I feel like you're somebody. Yeah, you're this nine of pentacles as well. So you're somebody who, 
you know, you self-sufficient by yourself. And they see that. They know that you don't need, need them for anything. This person is rushing in towards you, too. They may be acting like they're coming in slow, but th they're coming. And when they come, yeah, look. They come in with this Ace of Pentacles to offer you some, offer you a new beginning at life. I'm telling you, this person is going to really spoil you. you. Like, anything you want, you ain't going to have to ask twice. Some shit you ain't even going to have to ask for. This person could see you looking at something in your phone. And they're going to go buy it for you just to surprise you with it. This is someone who's going to want to surprise you with sweet little nothings. I'm getting roses and um, daisies, sunflowers. These could be your favorite flowers. It's like every week this person is coming in with um a f with, 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 with gifts for you. Yeah, you got this king of wands out here. I feel like this person is leaving behind their pride and ego when it comes to you. But this is somebody who looks the fuck good. They know who they are. Yeah, with this death and rebirth. It's like it's something, a new coming coming into you. After you put something to an end, you get in a brand new beginning. But this person sees clearly exactly who you are with this six of wands. And, and they know what they want. They're coming towards you. I feel like you're going to have a lot of public recognition. People are going to hate on you. I'm getting somebody is going to have a big ass rock on their finger. Like for real. Yeah, with this hermit and ten of wands, this could be you now, collective. You know, in hermit mode, getting your shit together. It's like, it could, like, life could be a little bit of a burden, but I feel like not in a negative way. It's kind of like, you, you know what's to come for you. I don't know why I'm getting, like, a Taurus, like, bull energy. Like, you're, you're coming full throttle for whatever it is that you want. And that's the fucking truth. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how much of a burden it is for you. You know what it is that you want. And you're going to put in that work and dedication to get it and keep it. Yeah. See, you got the Hierophant and the Magician. Yeah, see, this is something that you manifested and Spirit is finna bless you with this. You got the, the Six of Pentacles, uh, the King of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who's going to be very loving, very nurturing, very caring, very giving. This person is definitely one going to give you the world. You got the Hangman and then the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you guys are definitely each other's match. You got the Star and the Ten of Pentacles. You and this person is definitely going to create some sort of financial wealth together because you guys know. And then look, y'all. Wow, then I cut the deck on the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So you're not going to tell. It's like you and this person both ain't got time for the games. And what's behind the King of Swords? The Two of Cups and the Lovers working together to create this financial stability, this family dynamic, you know, and having the strength to overcome anything that comes you guys way. Any judgment or anything that try to stop this connection that's coming in, you guys are both cutting this shit off because y'all know that y'all have a divine mission together and y'all going handle that shit and do what it is that you got to do to make things happen. No matter how much drama, chaos, and conflict may come y'all way, y'all always going to find balance in the situation and see the light at the end of the tunnel because you guys know who you got, who, who y'all are and who y'all meant to be. Somebody could definitely be have, having um babies too with this connect. I'm getting that with the son. Somebody could soon, somebody could want a son. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. I see all the signs out here though. Virgo with the Hermit. But this person is coming in to do what they said they're gonna do. This person, I'm telling you, you and this person, wow. I can't I can't make it up with the Queen of Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and the, the Queen where the Queen of Swords at. There you go. With the Queen of Swords, King of Swords. It's like you guys, you guys not playing. Anybody that try to come in and stop what's destined for you all, they can't. And I'm also getting that you, y'all both are very intuitive, very spiritual. 
I'm hearing koi fish. Something could be significant about koi fish. You may want to look that up. A starfish. Somebody could have a, fo a koi fish tattoo. But see, you guys are going to give a lot of love and attention and affection to one another and cutting out any and everybody who try to stop this connection and stop was, was meant for you all. This is good energy. So, yeah, well, and then I got see these two again. So, just know you got somebody who's loving, who's caring, who's coming in for you. And this new union is protected. This is definitely a higher level soulmate. This is somebody that you don't have to question. You don't have to worry about. No matter what comes your way, the, the friendship is going to be solidified. Y'all going to be able to overcome and get through whatever, whatever, and whoever try to stop y'all. So that is the message that I have for you all. And until next time.